Rise and shine. We're here. At the port. And somebody's not happy to be awake. Oh no. You know what though? This is like the most awake I've been on a debarkation day. Really? Yeah. I, the baby slept through the night. I did not. You didn't? No, I kept feeling like the alarm. I kept feeling like the alarm wasn't going to tired. I kept feeling like the alarm wasn't going to go off. Alright. Our bags are packed up. We're leaving today. We're all ready to go. Gotta go to breakfast first. Jackson doesn't want to go. It's it's pretty wild. We've been here for an entire week. Yeah. He could stay longer. He's like, I'm ready to live <laughs> on the ocean. <laughs> we did find this same itinerary next year for spring break, so... On the know, treasure, though. Never know. We might do it again. Ooh. <laughs> we'll see. I want to do the treasure. You want to do, do the, the treasure? treasure? No. Oh, he want wants to. he likes oh, no, the fantasy. He has a tear coming out right now. I know because he really doesn't want to go, but we have to. I don't want to oh, go no. either. That's sad. Although I am ready to get in my own bed. Yeah. But I wish my bed could be at sea. You know. Well, we've done a lot of cruises, but this is the one that Jackson's been absolutely the saddest to get off of. He was having a full out cry. I think it's just it's tough. Like he's he had a lot of fun. Yeah. So here's the debarkation day breakfast. It's not very uh, extensive the menu no everybody's upset i might just get the Be i remember the belgian waffle just being an ego so i think i'm gonna get that the french toast was good okay it's so early i always forget uh, to show stuff i had fruit like this i got some french toast jackson got what he calls colorful o's we got some uh waffles and i got some bacon and sausage what's this the get up and go Oh, look at that. It's amazing. Show stopping. Never been done before. They get people in and out for breakfast. People are ready to get off the ship. Not a very nice day outside this morning. All right, we're in line to get off now. See you real soon. Matter of fact, I'm already looking. Oh, getting off the ship. We kind of got off like we just asked the crew members if it was time to get off and they're like yeah go ahead but they haven't made the announcement for all people to get off yet so it's kind of like making it a little bit easier on us yeah there was no line everybody going that way is getting on a disney bus but they do also have shuttles to the airport for 30 dollars. all right we're back to the car we got a good spot too because we're parked right across from where you get off for the elevator yeah our bags are packed i love seeing that <laughs> Our bags are packed up and we are leaving today to go home. There we are. You got your captain's hat on. You're the captain of this ship. <laughs> Here's everything in the back seat. This is how we pack up the car. Yeah, there's we so much it. extra space too. There's like, you know what's funny is on the way out here, I filled up the front with all of our like carry on stuff. Yeah. And like, I didn't put any of it in the front this time. Where is it? It's all right here. How'd we do that? Uh, are we missing there was, something? No, there was space between the three suitcases oh. in the back. Are you sure we're not missing anything? <laughs> I guess we'll see when we get home. We'll find out. Uh-oh. Hope not. Keep your fingers crossed for us. Yeah. All right, we're leaving the garage, but you can see they're rappelling off the back of the ship. What are they doing? Are they cleaning Dumbo? I think they're going to paint. Oh, they're painting Dumbo's butt. Oh, okay. Maybe. But we're leaving the garage now. A lot of people have left already. Look how empty the rows are up there. Yeah, it's 8.30. Yeah. Like, nobody's in there. There's nobody left in the garage the line there was like no line leaving this yeah. was the easiest like deboarding of the ship that has we've ever had yeah, people were why. ready to go people i think like, a lot of people were yeah. maybe going to the parks after this maybe yeah hmm. hey i will go to the parks well, we're gonna go somewhere else <laughs> all right we found the line it's getting out of the actual parking lot the garage was easy peasy but getting out of the parking lot there is a line so I don't know what's going on. It's just traffic getting onto the highway. Yeah. Oh no, I don't have my hat on. Oh no, you're not the captain of this I'm ship not anymore. Not the captain of this ship. <laughs> we finally made it to, to like to the front of the line, sort of. But there's the fantasy. See you later, fantasy. We'll see you soon. Like, sorry, you're looking at her through the chain link fence. There she is. Bye. All right. So our time did go up slightly, I think, from that that little bit of traffic in the garage area, but still making pretty good time. Our last cruise, we didn't get home for like three hours. Three and a half hours. Yeah, so this will be much, much better, I think. Well, you shouldn't <laughs> say that before oh, no. we get on the road. I don't want to give us bad luck. Say that when we get home. Okay, just for, forget that even happened. All right, so we're driving home. I don't know if you can see this cloud back here. It looks pretty wild, look at it. It's just like a 
big shelf. Yeah, of like weather. Weather. How does it work? <laughs> How does the weather work? Oh, it's so bumpy. Also, see this like barricade right here on the side of the road? Yeah. That's the bright line. Oh, is it? Yeah. We could take that down to Fort Lauderdale if we wanted to cruise out of Fort Lauderdale. I would like to try that one day. I don't know if you can really see it back there, but yeah, that cloud looks so strange. Interesting. So, as soon as we got off the cruise ship, we actually had to run to a birthday party. So, Jackson's friend had a birthday party at Andretti's, which is like a, a little go-kart racing place. Yeah. But their go-karts go really fast. Yeah, they're electric and it's all indoors. And he's finally old enough to be able to do the go-karts on his own. Yeah, they have so, like a special category called the mini category. He had so much fun. He was racing around the track. He was loving it. Yeah. I'm also going to link the video down below where you went for the first time. Cause it's like a full, like it shows the, the full experience, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a good time. But now it's time for dinner. So let's see what we're having for dinner the day that we got back from the cruise. I hope it's hot dogs. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not hot dogs, mm. <laughs> but I think you're gonna like it. Okay. All right, tonight for dinner, we're having some well, skewers. We're doing some veggie skewers because on the cruise. Oh, yeah, I'll get you some grapes, buddy. We <laughs> grab wraps. Okay, buddy. We didn't eat the best. We didn't eat like terribly, but you know, we we probably overdid it a little. So I eat the best. you do eat the best, yeah. So now we're gonna also do some chicken that I marinated in some Nando's garlic seasoning sauce. Little cheeky Nando's. Yeah. Little cheeky skewers. And so let's go get these on the grill, though. Also, we just got this, like, rice cooker. This thing worked great. Yeah. I feel like it took longer than normal. My friend told me, sorry, we're, we're still cleaning up the kitchen after the grocery store, but we had to like restock the whole house. Yeah. We like used everything before we went on the cruise. But my friend was like, you have to my, like you have to get this rice cooker, it's gonna change your life. And I was like, I don't know. But I mean, I think it did make really good rice and I didn't have to like, not that you have to do anything when you make rice. Yeah. You know, you just like leave it. But mine always turns out like undercooked, overcooked, this was like perfect. Or it like boils over. Yeah, oh, it always boils over, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that with this. This is great, I love this and thing. Just cook the rice, that's but I it. Will, I will say, we bought one before this one came and it was used, but it, we didn't buy a used one. Yeah. Which was kind of weird. So. We bought it on Amazon, it was like just some guy selling it on Amazon. Yeah, so we make sure you probably buy it from like the, play, the whatever this brand is. Z uh, Zerushi. Buy it from them. And hopefully you won't get a used one, or unless you want a used one. But I love this; it's great. Zergerusi. You can also make um, porridge. Yeah. Make some sweet porridge in here. Cool. What was the other thing? I don't know. Brown rice, semi-brown rice. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Sushi know. rice. Sweet rice. What does that mean? I don't know. Here's how it's looking. So far, so good. Yum yum. I gotta flip these guys over. I think. Boop. Boop. All right. Nice work, everybody. Ready to have your mind blown? Yeah, let's see these. Ooh, oh, it looks look so good. <laughs> look at that. Oh, that looks delicious. Yeah, buddy. Wow. This one might be a little bit overdone because it's a little. Oh, no. But. Oh, no, it keeps zooming in. How am I doing that? Oh, no. It was stuck. It was stuck and just kept zooming. This camera. <laughs> Sorry. All There's right. Our chicken. A little cheeky Nando's chicken. It looks good. I'm very excited for these veggies. That's like all I wanted were veggie skewers. Yeah, I think they're pretty much done. I think the zucchini, the squash might be a little bit tough. Uh oh. But for the most part, I don't want to burn anything, so. Yeah. I think it'll be pretty good. I think it'll be. Oh, it's so nice out here. Yeah. This is like, I wish that we could eat out here more. Listen. Oh yeah, it's it's so, there's pollen everywhere. Look at I know, this. what? Like, we literally just cleaned the, this thing, right? Like, just be prepared for when you come to Florida. Oh yeah, that's all pollen. That's all pollen. It's so wild. Like, and we have a screen, in I know the pollen can go through the screen, but like that'll stop a little bit of it. Yeah. So like imagine everywhere else in the world, <laughs> like people are inhaling this stuff into their nostrils. So much pollen, holy cow. My goodness gracious. All right, well let's eat inside, I guess. I can't wait. This looks so yummy. And there it is. There's our dinner. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It yeah. tastes so good. Mm-hmm. 17, 18, 19, 20. Ready or not, here I come. We're on a mission to try to find Jackson. Where do we think Jackson is? 
Where's Jackson? I don't hear any noises or anything. Probably just want to like relax a little bit. Kind of take 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 a moment to sit down and think where Jackson could be. <laughs> oh, this is making noise. Is there something under here? Is there? I don't know. I think I'll have to lay down on it to find out. Mm. Oh, it's moving. Whoa, what's going on? Is there a Jackson under there? Whoa, there he is. That was a good hiding spot. By the way, Monet's kid is a mood. Let's find Jackson. Let's see. He has some really good hiding spots. Where is he? Is he not out here? Is it an illusion? Wait, he ran this way, didn't he? Oh my goodness, you were hiding in the out in the open and I couldn't even see you. <laughs> you were right there. I found you. That was a really good spot, buddy. All right, now I'm trying to find Jackson again. I know he ran in here somewhere, but I don't know where he is. Do you guys see him anywhere? Whoa, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, what's happening here? Whoa, don't knock this over, buddy. Can you, where are you? There you are. It's pretty great to be able to see the differences in his hiding spots. Like he's progressing, very much so. I think he's in the bathroom. Jackson, oh no, he's over here. I don't know, I just don't see him. Maybe he's back behind the couch, ooh. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> you were right here underneath me? I didn't even see you down there. Oh my. You did good. I didn't even see me. I didn't even see you. You were right next to my feet. All right, so it is uh, after the cruise now. Yes, but. The cruise is over. You had so much fun playing hide and go seek with Jackson. That's the last thing you guys oh, saw. Oh, yeah, it was a good yeah. time. <laughs> Always is. He's such a good hider. He really is. But yeah, so now let's talk a little bit about what we got on the cruise. Do a little cruise haul. Cruise haul. I feel like these hauls get less and less as we've done more of these. But yeah. this time we did buy a few things. I have enlisted or enacted a tradition what? for cruising, and that is cruise hat. I got a cruise hat. Are you going to buy a hat on every cruise now? No, I'm going to wear this hat on every cruise. Oh, okay. I'm going to bring this hat on every cruise. You're the captain. It says, where magic meets the sea. Yeah. But it has like the captain's little like filigree little swirlies. Yeah, it's a cool hat. Do you remember it how says much it Disney was Disney Cruise Line? No, I don't. I think it was kind of expensive for a hat. I feel like it was like $30, $35. That sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. But you did get some compliments on the hat. Yeah, it was just walking into the... This is how cool... I'm a cool guy. <laughs> a giant hawk just attacked something in the backyard. And it was like... And then flew off. So that was wild. that same hawk, we just saw him. He had some like moss. I think he's building a nest somewhere around here. Because we just oh. saw him fly off with like a big hunk of moss in his mouth. Oh. Yeah. Could have been a mouse. I think it was moss. Hmm. Yeah. Well, back to this. This hat. <laughs> I got into the elevator on the cruise ship and these guys were like, that's a very nice hat. And I was like, he just bought it. I just got it on the cruise. Yeah. There it so is. So it was from Mickey's main sale. Yeah. And it was right in the front. They had a whole captain section. So hopefully it's there if you like it. Hopefully it's there when you go on your cruise. Yeah. It would have been nice if I had met the captain and gotten a compliment from the captain. Oh. About my hat. You think he wears that hat in his off time? Yeah, probably. I would. Oh, no. <laughs> um, and then we also, so of the things we got on the ship, we also got these cars. Um, cars, cars. If you remember, Jackson, when we went to the gift shop, he said, can I have these cars? And we were like, you have cars at home. And he's like, not these cars. Look at that. True. Look at Jackson Storm. Look how cool he looks. Now, the only thing that I thought was so strange about these is... All of them have fake sponsors, mm -hmm. except for this one. Oh, it's an Apple card. This one is actually like from Apple. Oh, weird. Right? But the rest are like Dynaco, uh, oh. Blinker. This one is Igniter. Yeah. Liquid mm -hmm. Adrenaline. Nitroade. Like Gatorade instead of this Nitroade. Rusties, of course. But yeah, this one doesn't even have a sponsor. This is just a He's primer just gray car. <laughs> doing it on his own. Number three, Mood Springs. Oh. Instead of Mood Swings. Oh, I thought it was like mood rings. Oh. Like a mood ring. I like, it can be either or. <laughs> mood <laughs> rings for your mood swings. Mood swing, mood rings. <laughs> but should, yeah, so it, that that's was... That's a million dollar idea. Is it? Mood swing, mood rings. What does that mean? It tells you if you're about to go into a mood swing. So you can like 
properly prepare yourself like oh here it comes <laughs> look my ring my ring told me yeah it like starts growing <laughs> glowing like red maybe um but we did he it was the only thing he wanted on the cruise though he never asked for anything else he was never like can i get this he really just wanted these cars so is this chick hicks i don't know kind of looks like him yeah he's a cheater um <laughs> but then he never played with them right so there you go i think he just wanted to look at them he did he left them in the display like when you take them out of the box off the top yeah there's like a clear display they like sit kind of like stadium seating style like there was like some on top some on the bottom and i took one out and he's like no put that back so i had to like <laughs> put it back he just wanted to have his cars displayed yeah i don't know kids are funny with their toys yeah. but it's not even a toy he just wanted to look at them yeah so the other thing we got on the cruise and i think this is my favorite thing bam diaper dash the diaper dash jack jack's diaper dash yes so we, we did, did this is a lifetime achievement it really is we were so one of the questions we got was why weren't you this excited when jackson did the diaper dash and the answer to that is that jackson he never got didn't. to do it yeah he never got to do the diaper dash because when he was crawling it was the middle of the pandemic there were no cruises cruising was canceled for a little bit yeah so we literally could not do the diaper dash with right. jackson which was a sad sad moment so we knew that when oliver was old enough to crawl we knew we had to try to do the diaper dash with him right and he did a great he did a great job which is pretty great because yeah. there are things now that oliver's gets to do that jackson was unable to do i know that we didn't get to experience like he's going to be able to have his first haircut at the harmony barber shop yeah he was able to do the diaper dash you know it's just I'm, I'm happy that we were able to do those things yeah um i'm sad that jackson didn't get to do it but he did get to cheer his brother on. He did. And he, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I loved it. It was a good time. Oliver did great. He didn't win. He was not the number one baby per se. He's the number one baby in my heart. He really is. But the, he, the first heat, he like did great. I mean, he yeah. like... There he, was murmurs after the first heat because he's like, they're like, oh, that's the baby to beat. Yeah. They're like, he's probably going to win. But then he stopped because so many people were cheering. People were so excited. I think that it was like all the different levels. It went up to like level five and he was like looking up and then he stopped and took a little moment. And then he came and he crawled towards me. But you missed it. Yeah, I've been telling people this. If the track had been an extra two feet, yeah. he would have won. Because he, probably... he was he was catching up quick. Oh, he was. Yeah, he really was. But um, he was a gracious loser. Yeah. <laughs> he only threw his milk bottle once. Yeah. He's like... <clears throat> but it was like, we had a lot of fun. It was really cool to see. We love watching the baby races. So for him to be in it was very... I don't know. It was just very cool. Also, that's a once in a lifetime thing. Yeah, we can never do that again. Yeah. <laughs> like, right? It's over. That's like, it. It's over. That was right. it. Yeah. So I don't know if he's not walking. Well, he is walking though. He's walking now. I was going to say, if he's not fully walking by the next one, we should enter him in. But... He will definitely be fully walking by the next <laughs> one because he's already walking now. That's true. Yeah. He walks around the house. But the only thing that he doesn't this do This was an exciting achievement. Is stand up on his own. Yeah. He has to hold on to furniture still. He's working on it. But yeah, that was very cool. Everybody, we met so many people that were like, we were cheering for him. Yeah. Um, you guys and to those the... people, I say, you're the ones that made him stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody in the comments was like, why was I cheering on my couch for this baby? And I'm like, you know, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for cheering him on. We really appreciate it. You guys did great. You did. I'm yeah. proud of you. Thank you. Um, some other things that we got on the cruise, the rest of our haul is just stuff that we bought on St. Thomas. Yeah. So we kind of like, so on... Tortola. Uh, Tortola, we didn't have enough. Like when we came back, there weren't as many shops as there were on St. Thomas. No, but we were also like right up to the uh, departure time. Yeah, the call, the back to the ship time. So we were like, oh shoot. Yeah, they honked, didn't they? I think so. When I we were off the ship. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. we had a we had a late excursion. Yeah. And so we were like, we got to get back. Um, so we didn't really get anything on Tortola. We had a great time. We got lots of memories yeah. on Tortola. We had an awesome time. But when we got done with our excursion on St. Thomas, they dropped us off in the shopping like district. And then they also took us to a little shopping area at the top of the observation little tower thing. So, you know, that's we got to shop more on St. Thomas than on Tortola. But I have a feeling that we'll be back to Tortola one day. We can shop then. <laughs> <laughs> So we did get the shirt I'm wearing right now, actually, let me see if I can show you, is from St. Thomas. Look at that little whale guy. And it oh. says, St. Thomas, 
USVI, U, uh, US Virgin Islands. You want to show them the back? It's a whale of a tail. Yeah, it says, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, keep my ocean blue. Ocean blue, the peace sign, big head designs. Oh, there you there go. You go. Well, this is the one that we bought at the top. Oh, yeah. So when we went to the, the lookout place, we bought this shirt. I got this because it reminded me of shirts that, like, my grandma wore in the 90s. Yeah, that your grandma would, like, bring back from vacation for you. From, say, like, St. Thomas, U.S. Yeah. Virgin Islands. Your grandma went out. St. Thomas had a few Mai Tais, Ew. saw a shirt, and was like, this is what I want. I love it. So yeah, so there's that. It's embroidered. It's like a coral pink color. It has a turtle on it. It says U.S. Virgin Islands. It's just very St. Thomas-y. Yeah. So I liked it. And I also only had five minutes to shop, and I'm like, oh, I'll take this one. Uh, this is the one. So now we got these from the um, the shop in like the shopping area. So this one, just like I like the look of it. So this one, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, 1917. Sailfish. I like it. Swordfish, sailfish, sailfish. This one here, I just like the design. I was like, oh, this is cool. It says St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. This thought, one's cool. Yeah, I thought it had a cool design on it. This one was the shirt I was wearing during the baby race. I just like the colors. I was like, ooh, it's yeah. so bright and vibrant. Look at that. So St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. I love it. All of these shirts, I think, were like 20 bucks a piece. So we did yeah, spend so. a lot on t-shirts, but they were cool shirts. This one's cool. This was my shirt as well. Since 1493, is there a discrepancy in, <laughs> in, the, in the dates here? This one says 1917. This one says 1493. So who knows, really? So It's anyone's guess. Really? <laughs> is time actually a thing? <laughs> so this shirt we got at the top of the observation area. This is where I bought that, that other one that looks like my grandma's shirt from the 90s. So this one was for Jackson. I thought that was pretty fun. Just It was another one that kind of reminded me of the 90s. We also bought the baby a shirt though. And it's in his room and he's napping right now. But it is bright orange. And it says St. Thomas with like, I think an alligator or a turtle. A dolphin. Is it a dolphin? Yeah. And it's in like puffy paint almost. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, but I, and it's like blue Ooh, and orange. This will be like a scavenger hunt for you guys. Why? Just be on the lookout. One day the baby will be wearing this shirt and I want you guys to leave the comment that says, That's the shirt. That's that baby's shirt. That's that baby's shirt. That baby's wearing that shirt again. <laughs> um, this is another fun one we got for Jackson. It's like blue tie dye. It says St. Thomas, USVI. These were the best deal. That's yeah. why there's multiples of, of Jackson shirts. Well, because he has this one also in like rainbow. It's, yeah, here it is. We'll put it right over here. But he loves it. Absolutely yeah. loves it. And these were like three for $20 or something like that. There was like a deal well, for the kids' shirts. Because we bought two more of the rainbow ones for the cousins so they could have matching shirts. And then we also got Jackson this cute little hoodie. The softest hoodie. It's so you've ever soft. Felt. And it's like this heather green. It's so pretty. It has like this little. Uh, Compass Rose, St. Thomas, USVI. This one says 1493. Mm. Established in 1493. But this was we like... We should look this up. We should. But th this is everything that we got, though. That was everything. We did so, it. That was our us. haul. Every, I do have to admit, every time we go on a cruise, I still look in the shops just in case there's something. There was something that I wanted to get that I didn't get. And there's this family. We were chatting with them. They actually did our outro uh, when we were at one of the one of the uh, trivia oh, nights. Trivia, yeah. yeah, I think it was for St. Patrick's Day trivia. Yes. But they, we were chatting with them in the shop, and she found a pin that looked just like the room card. Oh yeah, that was cool. Like the key to the like the key to the world, the key that gets you into your room. Mm -hmm. It's a pin that looks just like that, and I was like, oh man, that's so cool. Like I love that pin, and I wanted to get it, and I didn't get it. So the next time I'm on the ship, I will get one. Yeah. It was very cool. And also, the other thing is that we didn't stop at Castaway. I know. I really so, wanted to get stuff at Castaway. <laughs> that is where I've seen, in my experience, mm -hmm. and it might be different for other people because some people notice other things that I notice, but I feel like the merchandise on Castaway has the best turnover rate as far as new designs coming in. Oh, I think you're right. So like yeah. this one, like this is a Castaway shirt that we got last time. Castaway and chill. Yeah, that's like... With Olaf. Olaf melting like a weird sun and an umbrella tree. I think it's cool. And like the ship being real tiny down there. Yeah. It's like a strange shirt. It is a strange shirt. But like... <laughs> 
it's it's like the one of the new designs that they had the last time we were at Castaway. Yeah, and, and that I was literally months ago. And I feel like we didn't see it the next time that we went. Right. Yeah, I don't know. So Castaway, and I felt really bad because we told some of the other people on the ship, we were like, don't worry if you don't find anything. Because he's like, I was looking for stuff in the shop. I didn't really see anything. And I was like, don't worry, because once we get to Castaway, you'll find some really cool stuff. So like, don't don't worry. You'll you'll get something cool. And then we didn't go to we Castaway. Didn't go to Castaway. <laughs> oh, I felt so bad. Oh, so also I wanted to answer some questions that we got. Just a few things that I felt like we probably should have clarified a little bit. Okay. So we'll do that now. But people were saying, and the very first video in this series was when we got on the ship and I was saying like, oh, the pool's closed, the splash pad's closed, this is closed. And somebody was like, whoa, that sounds like a terrible cruise. All these oh. things are closed. And I was like, oh, we should have clarified they were closed for the muster drill. Right. So the muster drill was starting and because they, everybody has to go to the drill, including all of the cast members, everybody, they close those things yeah. so that people are not like in the pool Without this, a lifeguard. Yeah, or... like in the splash pad and stuff. So they opened them right back up. They were closed for, I think, 30 minutes. And then they opened back up. Yeah. So I wanted to clarify that. Um, they were open the whole rest of the cruise. They were great. We loved using them. Fantastic. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Do recommend. Um, the other thing I wanted to clarify was that we bought bottled water mm. on the ship. Oh, oh we didn't yeah. show them. We also got like a cooler that we bought. So this is the cooler that we bought. I think it was like about $19. You get a deal if you get it with a beverage, such as mm. the waters that we got. They do it with beers and stuff like that. Yeah. They call it the survival pack. So, um, but people were like, why did you buy the water? Do they not, like, do you have to buy water on the ship? And you don't have to buy water. There is water all over the ship in the soda fountains. They have a wa one that's specific for water. They have water fountains. Yeah. They have just like canisters of water, like at each of the bars. There's always water, free water for you to drink. And free sodas. And oh, free coffee. But the, but like the water specifically, people were like, oh my gosh, why did you had to buy water? And we're like, no, no. We bought the water specifically because it was like the filtered, like bottled water, which made it easier to use for the baby. Right. So we always had water in the room. And also the home port of the ship is Port Canaveral, Florida. If you guys have ever been to Florida... They use Florida water to fill up the tanks for the cruise ship. Oh, yeah. So, so you are <laughs> drinking Florida water. And I know some people are like, yeah, so what? But some people are also like, ew. Yeah, there are a lot of people that know exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> when I say you're drinking Florida water. It just has like a weird taste. So we opted for the bottled water just really specifically to make it easier for the baby. So right. we always had like bottled like like purified water for the baby. Mm -hmm. So And we could take it with us places too. Yeah. Like this particular uh, cooler, as long as the bottles are like factory sealed, you can take it on and off the cruise ship. Yeah. So So we always had like water when we were on the islands. Yeah. We got it really for castaway and then we didn't go to castaway, but we drank it anyway. Right. So you long answer long, we didn't have to buy the water. They you do they do provide you with water on the ship. So don't worry about that. You right. will you will have water. Everything is fine. So yeah. So another question we got was, was there no pirate night on this cruise or did we just opt not to go? There was a pirate night on this cruise, but we did. We opted not to go. But I did link other pirate nights that we've done because it's the same show. Right. There, there's no difference in the show. So, on this cruise ship. Yeah, on the fantasy. Yeah. So I'm sorry that we didn't make it to this one, but I did link some uh, pirate night videos there for you. It is a lot of fun, but we were so tired. Yeah, because we had, that was the day that we went to Tortola, and it was just like going to the beach all day, and then yeah. you're just tired, and like, then you get the kids to sleep, and then you're like, all right, well, I'm just, I'm done. Let's yeah. just go to sleep. And then going into that, that was another question that we got kind of a lot was, where was Oliver during the excursions? Oh, yeah. And so the reason why Oliver wasn't with us on the islands, on Tortola, and on St. Thomas is because the excursions that we booked... He, they had an age requirement. You had to be over the age of three and he was not old enough. Right. Yeah. So he stayed on board with Rosie, um, who is our nanny that we bring on the cruises with us. So he was having a lot of fun sleeping on the, yeah, he was, he was, he's still napping. He still takes like a two and a half hour nap during the day. So he was napping. They were in the splash pad. Um, they were doing fun stuff too. They went into open house for the kids club. He got to play with some of the other babies on the cruise ship. So yeah, so he wasn't on the excursion with us. 
but he was still having a blast on the cruise. Another question I wanted to answer was, uh, somebody asked, is room service included or is that an upcharge? It's included, baby. It is included. There are some things that you can have room serviced that are an upcharge, like if you wanted beer or wine or- M&Ms? Yeah, some specific treats, but they do list very clearly, this is an additional charge. Right. But like, so but all the things that we ordered that you saw in the video where we got room service for dinner, so like the Greek salad, the hot dog, the BLT, grilled cheese, the soup, those things were all included. We only t like tipped. It was just gratuity. So pretty cool. Yeah. So all in all, it was a fantastic cruise. We had a really good time. Mm. I stand by this fact that the seven days are like, seven days is the perfect amount. Seven days are greater perfect length of a cruise. It really like gave us enough time to really enjoy everything on the ship, enjoy uh, relaxing time, but also like exploring time, pool time, Trivia, every, all the times. Learning to draw things, <laughs> like getting to know the ship. Yeah. This is where you really fall in love with a specific ship. I agree. And yeah. I know people will ask, the fantasy is still my favorite ship. Yeah. So is it still your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. I would say the wish is a pretty strong second, but the fantasy is my fave. Yeah. We'll see come, you know, late this year, early next year when we get another ship. How does the treasure rank? Yeah. We'll and see. And then later next year, we'll see how the destiny ranks. That's true. Yeah. But also if there's any questions that you have that we didn't answer, leave them down below because we're planning on doing a live show soon and we can answer them in the live show. Yeah. So let us know if there's something that you'd like to know that you didn't hear the answer to. So... Thanks for cruising with us. And also another question that I had for you all was, where's your favorite place to cruise to? Ooh, yeah. And what's does. your favorite excursion that you've done on a cruise? Ooh, yeah, I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> so all in all, it was a fantastic trip. Thank you guys for coming along with us. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.